Okay, so friggin, uh, friggin had to sleep in this morning because friggin there was some sort of a clicking noise all night and I couldn't friggin sleep and I was trying to wrap my head in pillows so as I couldn't hear it but I kept being able to hear it and just irritated the shit out of me. I managed to fall asleep somehow but you know, I damn well slept in till friggin 10 o'clock for frig's sake so I was totally dicked but uh, we're still gonna go out to Inwood's there. I, I can't, uh, I can't friggin' wait to get the damn thing friggin' going, but it's, you know, probably gonna be a couple more days still for frig's sakes. You know, I still wanna work on it a little bit today, but uh, probably won't be too long, couple hours maybe, but I'm gonna go to uh, Gibraltar Trade Center and pick up these chunks of like nylon blocks and stuff so I can make like chain slider antlers out of it and different things. That was a little bit tight, bud, but... Uh, so, uh, T-Bag says he wants to come, so, so uh, we're just son of a bitch, I'm all day. Just son of a bitch, I'm say stupid stuff to him, and. You know, make him think my planes is decked. For sake, what street is it? Oh, okay, we got her, boys. Well, here we are live at Son of a Bitch Math Center for Frig Sakes, and we're gonna get some plastic bets. I'm here with T-Bag, look at his pliance. It's friggin' dickered, different things, and then we cheached. Oh, T-Bag's getting some DI fries for Frig Sakes. Son of a bitch, look at him, bigger. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Oh, big time. Check this out, boys. $28.80 for this piece of nylon for Frig Six. It's this big. $28 freaking dollars or some nonsense. $32 bucks altogether. Had a fucking surplus start, too. Yeah, Frig Six. Who does that? So I spent $42 bucks on this here piece of nylon, and I just decided that I'd try to cut it. So I started with the bandsaw, and it wouldn't freaking cut it. So then I switched to my freaking chop saw there. And for freak's sake, it didn't want to cut it either, but I uh, just ended up just melting through her, but that, that's pretty dicked. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is like take chunks of this and just make like little choochers to, to go over, you know, the parts of the frame that the son of a bitches are going to hit, you know what I mean, wherever the hell, right? So, you know, I'm going to need one over there so the chain don't slap off the metal, it'll just ride on that, right? So, and different things, but uh, I'm just about ready to uh, put the engine in again to make sure that... Uh, this, this sprocket here is perfectly in line with, uh, with the sprocket on the engine. And then uh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take uh, like so similar idea to, to Nelson's for that, uh, that, you know, the spacer thing that he made. But I got like these pipes and you can see that one's pretty, pretty thick walled. But I got this other one over here and it just fits perfect. So I think, uh, I think the cookie dick might have brought that. I apologize if it wasn't the cookie dick and it was somebody else, my, my appliance, apologize. But uh, so, you know, that fits over there nice. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut a piece off, cut a slot in it, weld a couple guys on there to put nuts and bolts in it to really pinch it down there over a, over a larger area. And it's sort of still got some gnarl onto it. So that should uh, work out just fine. And then I can, you know, take it off. The whole idea is like, I could just damn well weld the freaking stick onto there, but then you can't, you know, take it apart or you'll never get that shaft through the hole and different things. So I want to be able to completely take it apart because we break the shit out of these things all the time and stuff. And I've got to find some smaller front tires because she's she's pitched a little back sitting the way she is. But uh, anyways, then we teach. Oh, so friggin' right's there. I know Pug One's a big goof and he should shut his fucking trap and different things. But uh, here's a little tip anyways. Uh, if you got to cut a slot in the guy, you might as well cut the slot in the guy before you cut her off too short to hang on to it with anything. And you clamp the whole piece into the guy, cut your slot, cut that piece off, weld your guys on there. Was it, was it bling bling? Beg my part. Alright, so friggin' there's what I did there. Took two like thick pieces of son of a bitch, just drilled some holes in it. That piece in the middle is just for like a spacer, so is that uh, it's nice and square, so when I pinch the son of a bitches together, it'll pinch on, but you can see the notch between the pipe and the square thing, like I'll be able to really fill that with weld and make it nice and solid, and then I can do something stupid, frig's sake, point the friggin' cookies. Something like that, and really weld her on there, you know? Sounds like friggin' bacon. Yeah. But, uh, so I really welded her on there good, so that should, uh, that should be good. We'll take the bolts out, slide that piece out, see if we can't clamp her onto the son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, tubes, there's the finished son of a bitch there. You can see what I made. I made that thing. Nylon, uh, line, nylon nut, not such a good idea if you're going to weld it on there, but, uh, so I should be able to just tighten them son of a bitches up there, clamp her down, and then, uh, then you can always just, uh, just weld the side of that friggin' shaft thing 
weld it onto the side of there and then we can adjust this wherever we need to. And yeah, like, you know, just weld that son of a bitch on like quit. And then uh, we'll be able to teach it, yeah. So there's the sprocket for the son of a bitch. I marked uh, the last link where I'm gonna weld the chain onto and then I marked it where I, where this thing son of a bitch is. So is on account of these two Allen key bastards are on the bottom and you can get to them because I ran into the problem of putting the freaking engine in and then needing to take that off and it wasn't in the right son of a bitch and man did that freaking piss me off. But so there's the son of a bitcher that I made. Teabag's got her all clamped on there all nice and whatnot. So it's, uh, it's gonna clear the uh, the, ca the casing, I know some people were concerned of that, but uh, it'll concern. The only thing is the brake line chooches across right over there, so I might have to, you know, chooch the brake line in and around the shit this way or whatever, but uh, we can worry about that later. I gotta take the whole damn thing apart to sandblast and paint it anyways. But I got my little choocher marked, so I'm gonna son of a bitch that, weld her up there, and, uh, and, then, and then I'll tack on the, the friggin' antler. We'll be able to test her out, yeah. Oh, what do you got, teabag? Pico Bill's Nuggets. Oh, I might, I might have to have some of them. Look at Super Please. tender. Please you do. Don't friggin' shovel them out with your hand into my hand. What the fuck then? Oh, it's dirty. Throw hand in there. For sake. Well, I didn't want it because it's covered in shit because it's my shit digger, but anyways. So I just tack that on there like that. And just drop that piece of shit down there. Frank's sake, choo choo on like that. Choo choo around. Oh, this is so easy with one hand, let me tell you. But, uh, so yeah, there we go. And then if T bag turns that thing, it turns the chain, which pulls that the right way. Backwards. So once well, this I, goes forward. Well, like, you know, once I clamp that down on there, a couple Allen key guys, it'll be good to go, and then I can figure where we'll, you know, that's obviously not tightened in quite the right spot. But, Maybe there. Uh, we, can, we can move that, it. that right up there. Yeah, you know, more, more straight up downy but anyways, let's freaking do her. So there the son of a bitch is, and you see if, uh, like, it's, it'll, it will work, but once I get uh, this shit clamped down, because if you, if you look down, down here, you can see once you start turning it, then the, the son of a bitch wants to turn, but it leaves the sprocket right where it is. So, uh, yeah, you know, you just I'll need to, I don't know, tack that friggin' uh, spacer ring antler friggin' thing, uh, weld it to the shaft, and then uh, clamp, you know, with the Allen key son of a bitches onto that. But uh, I'm gonna have to cut and notch a little bit of this underneath. You know, you can see right down in there, there's like a piece of angle iron welded to the side of a piece of one by one square tubing nonsense. So I'm gonna have to just notch it out so as I can move this whole spiel over a little bit too, cause it's just a little bit out of wampus. But once everything's all cinched and clamped down and everything, I'll be able to treat that forward. That'll pull that, the chain of this and that. And this is the crankcase. The only thing is, is it, uh, rub the brake line there, but and it, it misses this piece of angle iron up here too. It'll just rest on it for rest these purposes, but as soon as you start turning it over, it lifts it up off of it. So that's friggin' awesome or it's frig. But uh, again, once I, uh, well, you know, I gotta take it all apart, notch it, slide it over a little bit and this and that. So I might get onto that today, might not. Don't know yet. Oh my goodness, what a pain in the ass, but it's coming along there. I had to take it apart and put it back together 45 times and I just freaking cut a chunk of this off so as to allow for it to slide over a little more. I was going to freaking cut the freaking chain off and flip the son of a bitch around and you know and just turn this this thing around so the son of a bitches are on this side but then it still wouldn't be enough for frig's sake so I just cut it off and moved it over a little bit and slid her down and, but uh, she should freaking work just splendidly like different things it's almost like there's like a stop right there that piece of hangle iron so this this part here when the center of it's not flat too much so you just chooch her forward and, and it's way plenty friggin chooch onto her so that uh, that should work but uh, I got to uh, figure out a way to uh, um, you know attach that friggin piece of pipe with the slot into it on there so I'll probably take it all apart drill a hole in it and then just 
plug weld the, the friggin' hole so as I don't have to friggin' you know spin around the lathe or anything. But then that piece will attach on there real good, and I can just loosen this bolt and then put the son of a bitch wherever it is I feel like having it. You know, because it's going to have to line up with the key key teacher on there, whichever whichever way it's rotated, right? Because we've already welded on the son of a bitch, and the son of a bitch is already welded onto the mask. So, frig's sake, frig's sake. So I got her all apart there. And I just drilled a little hole in each side of the guy, so I'll just fill that up with weld. And then I'll find a friggin' piece of key stuck there, a slider in there, and teach her all together and lock her all down. And then that won't spin on the shaft no more. And then I'll be able to clamp my friggin' guy on the end there, and son of a bitch, the stovepipe on the end, and kick her over and start the engine. While he was doing all that, I have come up with combos and fucking beef nuggets. At the same time? Mm hmm. <laughs> Holy shit, how's that? I better try some of that. How is it? Kind of amazing. It's amazing. Like two levels of greatness coming together to make a super great level. Yeah, right on. I love combinations. They're my favorite. Oh, try one. Don't, don't mind if I do, kind sir. Okay, so let's try this. I got a combo and a son of a bit. Nope. Yep. It's not bad, eh? Mm hmm. Wow. You didn't think that was going to happen, didn't you? No, I didn't. That was pretty good. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. So there's the son of a bitch there. I didn't even need to grind it for frig seeks. So I didn't make a big lump on there. Still left her a little shallow, but uh, she's good and chooched on there. So that asshole just goes on there. It's just, just hotter as frig, but... I don't know. Okay. Son of a bitch that up there. Screw a couple of son of a bitches, but... It's not lined up, so I can't right now. Beg my part. So see, there it goes. Just gotta line that son of a bitch up there. Just hotter as frig too. Just melt my hand right off. What's that? What's that noise? Oh man, I thought we were under attack, but uh, gotta find a little piece of key jab in there, and then, uh, and then that thing won't slip no more. Yeah. And of course I can't friggin find another piece of key stock anywhere. These ones are for the friggin uh, tires, the rear tires on the axle chucher. So friggin right now I need a piece. So I'm just going to cut one of these in friggin half so that I can chooch it in there or whatever. And we'll clamp all this down and we'll get her somewhat friggin rigged up today anyways. Okay so here we go. The friggin stupid thing friggin slipped a little bit. But anyways you'll get the point. So you can see, obviously I'm going to have to take it all apart because it's not going to be able to go through that friggin' hole anyway. So I'm going to have to uh, cut the shaft a little bit shorter and put a set screw or something, some sort of a unit to friggin' stop, you know, stop it from spinning on this. The gnarl got uh, chooched off a little bit, so I don't know, maybe just friggin', I don't know. Could even weld like a friggin' notch, a little notch in there. And, and then that'll slide into a notch in the guy to stop it from spinning. But anyways, friggin' you can hear it chooching over. So but there it goes. It just slipped again. So you can see. That. But anyways, it'll you know once I stop this piece here from slipping on the guy, it'll totally work. Friggin' right. Yeah, I thought maybe I'd just grind like a notch. Oh, that's pretty warm. Grind a chooch into here something, find a piece of metal that'll fit in there and then just weld the piece of metal to there so as you can, you know, slide it on where you want it to. But uh, the problem with that is when I gotta take it all apart, I'm gonna have troubles feeding her through that hole. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I could drill a freaking hole right through that thing and, you know, pin it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys come up with a better idea. Beg my part. Uh, I think the warden's texting uh, tea bag and I'm finishing off the combinations. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to be in trouble? Or am no. I going to be in trouble? It's Rick. <laughs> oh, no, I apologize. I apologize. Beg my pardon. So, we just had to stop and get some gas there. Freaking gas dicks. He asked me if I wanted to fill it up for frig's sakes. This is frig no, man. Holy shit. But, uh, so yeah, I don't know, friggin', I'm gonna see if I can't go to the old Boss Gary's place and, uh, see if he can't, uh, got something sharp enough to cut this shit, but I brought a piece of angle irons home, so as I can, you know, make it fit that, and then, uh, and then it'll fit the friggin' piece that's on the lawn chair, so, friggin' rights, boys. Oh, friggin' rights, so friggin', uh, we're done there, T-Bag, can drop T-Bag off? Oh, thanks for the help, buddy. No problem, buddy. Fan. I'd have never been able to get that damn engine in by myself, eh? No shit. That was dicked, but anyways, friggin', uh... That's a cocksucker. Yeah, <laughs> Right on. All right. See you later, buddy. See you, buddy. So anyways, boys, there you go. Freaking, uh, 
had a good day, you know, got some shit done. I really wanted to get that uh, Kickstarter freaking mounted right in there and stuff, but, uh, you know, like I said before, slept in a little bit, freaking couldn't sleep last night, freaking clicking noise and stuff, so freaking son of a bitch. But anyways, it should, uh, it should work not too bad there, freak sake, uh, turned, you know, it turns over a couple times by kicking her about 90 degrees, so... I guess just gotta figure out uh, where exactly that chucher needs to be clamped on there and then rig up some sort of a way to lock it so that it doesn't freaking spin. I don't know, maybe grind a spot flat and take a little piece of metal and weld it onto the inside of that pipe. I don't freaking know, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. But uh, anyways, boys, it's just about supper time. I can't freaking wait to see what uh, the old lady made for me tonight. So there she is, another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the lobsters get you.